DC's number one recording studio. Oh, 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 Hello, hello, Swerve what family. All right, welcome, welcome to our third edition of Swerve Radio. You yes. know, we may change the name of this to like the Swerve Show or something. But yeah, I, I, I think we should. But yes, you know, yes. we're gonna go. We'll with work it. it out. We're working. We're it's working out the kinks. So I'm like, we're working. I'll have my people call. <laughs> so tonight we have. It should course. be Racine and friends. No, Diana Ross. Everybody wants to be Diana Ross. <laughs> so look. So tonight we ha- we have. This was the original cast, and, and we haven't all been together yet. This is the first time. so here we are. It's, uh, we have the legendary Racine Pendarvis. Good evening, okay. all. All right. The host of the Ask Racine Show. Of course. First Wednesdays of her mom. And of course, we have Yarde Noir, who is a stylist, artistic yes. genius. And, uh, I appreciate that. And our editor at large for Swerve Magazine. All so that. welcome, welcome. We've got a great show for you uh, this evening. You know, our, our, our March-April issue features... Uh, Big Boy Pride, uh, along with another, w- along with other issues relevant to the big boy and plus size community, yes. and we big, have a guest full, here, robust. We have a guest from from Big Boy Pride, Warren, or do we call you Lily? It's Warren. Warren, yeah, they can't see him, Jamil. He's not on yet, but he's they coming. They can't see him. <laughs> they can't see you yet, right? They can't see you yet. He's going to join us later to talk about. The, the major event that happens this year, and, yes. uh, and then we'll talk about some other issues relevant to that particular community. Oh, they had you on print. Oh, that's fine. Oh, yeah, that's they fine. did. I didn't oh, know that. Oh, oh, oh. look at Damn. you. Hey. Damn. Hey. Because we were going to bring him on later. We're going to bring but, him on later, but, but, but just but, wave at yeah, the people. Right, say hey. Right, yeah, right. I love exactly. that. That's right. wonderful. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, right. So, so we're a work okay. in progress. We're a work in progress. I hope everyone's sharing. Join us on Facebook. Follow share, us. share, Facebook share. Live. Yes, yes. Please follow us. We share. are sharing. So share before live. we get into anything, I want to... And we'll also be looking at feed throughout the Yes, program. we will. Yes, we will. Yes. So if your comment is fierce enough, we, we, we'll, we, we, we'll, we'll share. give you a lovely shout out. Only if it's fierce enough. <laughs> fierce. <laughs> so anyway, so uh, your day is fresh back from Italy. So I want to hear about this trip. Baby... So first, I want to give a shout out to my university, University of District of Columbia. Thank you so much. I was one of 15 people offered a full, um, to students, a full scholarship to go to Italy for spring break. I was there for 10 days. We, um, we went through, we went to Venice. Um, we stopped in Assis. Um, we went to Florence and Rome. When I tell you, it was one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had in my life. And being an artist, um, it was amazing to like go and see and study Michelangelo and to know that this man wasn't just, he wasn't just a painter. He wasn't just a sculptor. He was an architect. He was multi-layered. And me being a person who is multi-layered and talented in a lot of areas. I've always heard people say, you're a jack of all trades and a master of none. Well, here's a man who's 100, 100 and something odd years later after mm-hmm. this man is dead. We're still reveling in his So, so, so what amazing. exactly did you do? What, what, what was the How name? was the food? Well, well, first, let's find out why he was going over there. <laughs> what the was the trade. purpose? It just wasn't just to pick out fabric or something. You went no. over there for a specific reason. So we, we, studied, <laughs> we studied the influence of politics, religion, and art. On um, on the Italian, the Italian world, 
Italian culture. Okay. So it's it was quite intriguing to actually walk through the Vatican. Um, we went, we did oh, the Vatican. I saw those pictures. I bet that was yes. very spiritual. Baby, very I'm gonna tell you the moment for me though was when we walk because I've uh, on my list, my bucket list is to go to Egypt, and so to walk. We're gonna through the go Vatican, together because I gotta see yes, the pyramids. <laughs> to walk through the Vatican and which I've it, been in it's Egypt. slightly it's slightly I was a queen in former life. <laughs> it slightly bothered me, but I'm never I'm sorry. On they had they had artifacts from Egypt when when Rome conquered that Egypt, they stole that they stole <laughs> the shade of it all. Baby, first of all, this is the running the joke. Shade. The running joke was that. Through all of our tours, it was like, oh yeah, and we took this from such and such. And we took this. So it's like, oh well, y'all some thieves, uh, baby. And, and the Italians are thieves, as Ooh. they say in Panther. Did they pay a fair market value for those items? Anyway, anyway. So we got to keep moving. We got to keep. So anyway, moving. but it was amazing. Thank you, thank you, UDC. All right, for UDC Ooh. taking the folks to, to yes. Italy. I think that's wonderful. It's an amazing university. All right, it's an yes. incredible yes. university. My daughter works there, by the way. So, so, daughter. so what's going on with you? I know you oh, got what's your going show. On? Of course, I'm the we queen got, of shameless we, we, we got a one minute. A one minute, and I'll go. I like to welcome everybody to the Ask Racine Show, which is next Wednesday, April fourth, up two thousand eighteen at HRC. We'll be celebrating ball. Culture Month, oh. and we'll be having our annual mini ball with celebrity judges, along with legendary judges from the House of La Beja, yes. the House of Allure, the Allure. House of La, uh, 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 Balenciaga. Balenciaga. The House can, of can I judge? I want to judge because I've never chopped no. anybody. You're not on the list. <laughs> no. I want to chop. <laughs> I want to chop somebody. Oh, I no. think we can. Well, you can be a special. You and are. Say, you can we be a said it's judge. all red. I want to go and say it's all. You said it's all red category. And that's no, it's not all blue. Red. Chop, Actually, chop, it's, chop. It'll be quite, quite a few <laughs> categories, such as uh, best spectator, <laughs> okay. uh, oh, uh, which is open to all. Uh, face over 40, serving, open to all. Oh. Be, uh, butch queen uh, face, femme queen realness. Uh, women's face, butch realness for the lesbians and our trans men, giving them a category to Okay, walk. okay. So it's a wonderful event, and I am so honored. We have a lot of surprises that day because I just got the list of the celebrities that will be a part of the panel, and I am, I mean, part of the judges' panel. Our ballroom community. So, so I, it's I'm amazing. Fit. So and that's it's April 4th, right? April 4th. So also, okay. and all to I'm my... To my wonderful bisexual community, we will be doing a bisexual mixer April the 12th at Thursday, April 12th at Shaw Library. It's free and open to everyone. It's a wonderful, I've been given the opportunity. Mixer, not, not the dating, not hookup. No, mixer. mixer. Okay. It's, it's, and we do games to engage and enlighten. And I take you, use my use, uh, words of wisdom and my years of wisdom to make the dating and navigating through the <laughs> dating experience better. What day, you know? what day is that? It's Thursday, April 12th. It's a wonderful so it's April event. April 4th and then April 12th. Right, okay. yes. And also the Real Affirmation Film Festival this Friday at HRC. It's a wonderful event. I also am the host of that. So come out. I'm hosting a lot yeah. of things. Also, Gays Against Guns in D.C. this Saturday. I was asked to speak at that. Okay. So Gays right. Against Guns and Gays Against Violence. It, it's a wonderful, wonderful event. It's a fundraiser, and I think it's a wonderful... You're doing too much. So I am doing something. <laughs> and I, I, I will be speaking at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. I'll be on the outside of the gate. Um, uh, I'll be in, um, using the colored entrance. Yes. You, you sure will, because because there's no color over there. But anyway, okay, so we're going to move on. So, so we're Omarosa's gone. Yeah, yeah, Omarosa's gone. She is. There's no more color. So let's talk about some of the news items. You know, we always get into some. Uh, the first thing I wanted to get into was this whole U.S. Census question where they mm. are you know, going to ask folks if they're citizens or not. Do, what, what are your thoughts on that? Who wants to take on that? That's the setup. I'm saying. <laughs> That's all well, I'm saying. I mean, it go. It stems I mean, like from, a real setup. It stems from uh, with forty. Uh, what's, what number is he? I don't even. Forty five. Forty five in office. It stems from the madness that's going on, and, and it really it is trickling down, in so many areas of government, and it's 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 appalling, and it's, it's well, you know, the difficult. census is so important, though it determines so it determines really. Um, the, the the congressional seats, how many people, you know, how many, I mean, seats you get in Congress, and also determines the budget. And what about the population? sexual identity now? That right. You well, you know, they were going to pull that question, but the lobbyists fought so hard to keep it on there. So uh, there's some, some some discrepancies about the long form and the short form. Not everybody gets the, the long form. Most well, people get the short that? form. I mean, really? It's random. It's random. So, it's horrible. But, but, so I get, but, I'm going to check every box that comes to That's right. At the end of the day, identity. everyone needs all, to all fill that thing out. So, yeah. Mm. 
Okay. But in that, every color. But that question is debatable. Okay, so, that question is okay, debatable. Okay, so let's rewind. So I have a couple of issues. My big, my one, one, how dare you, how, how can you ask people to list whether or not they are a citizen when we have a program called DACA? <laughs> right, right. That y'all so, are slaying for mud, blood, and points. It's horrible. We, we, we should bring someone And then they're going to the, build, the and if they're determined, then they're going to build a wall around your house. So, can, <laughs> no, they're just going to come get you. I want, can I say them. this really quickly? And then so, we're going to move on. Then we're going to move on. I'm going to say this about, in, in particular, it's about the DACA situation. Like, sometimes you don't really understand a situation until it's presented to you or it shows up at your door. Mm-hmm. There was a young lady I was in class with who... Um, she is uh, she is not a citizen. She has she goes to school here. She works like twelve hour days to pay for school. I'm sure. I'm sure. And I sat there and I actually had a conversation with her, and was like, "You have to work like twelve hour days. Plus, you have to figure out how you're gonna get your schooling done." And I sat there and looked at her and was like, "I am so. If I've never been grateful for financial aid." Oh my God! Yeah. Well, and you know, and that community it's, it's, it's is not—it's not monolithic. It's not just Hispanic or Latino. Right. It's 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 right. African. It's Asian. It's a little yeah. bit of everything. But but anyway, so that they let Donald Trump. Like they they let Donald back. Trump's uh, family in law. They're still here. Exactly. I need them the out. Russians, I need them. I need, I mean, need them why, out. Millennials. Uh, he's only have one wife that's American born. Right. I need all of but them I out. Think Mil- I think Melania, whatever her name is, what's her name? Melania. Melania. I think she's a Russian spy, but that's a whole other thing. We'll talk about well, that. Well, some people. Say I think she's. she's I think some she's, people say she was biologically born a man. She's maneuvered the whole. I've heard a whole lot. There's a whole lot going. And he bought her. There's a box that he keeps. She's beat though. No shade. I mean. She's manufactured, but anyway. But it don't matter. She beat them. She is. So let's, let's move on. Let's move on. So <laughs> the March for Our Lives. What do you think about that? I think it was amazing. Yes. I think it was wonderful. And what's so powerful, it was it was uh, driven by, by the, by the yes. next voters. Yeah. All of these young yeah. people will be uh, are, are registering to vote. They are making change. They are going to be women and young people are going to decide the next yeah. election. Um, I think what was most amazing for me, so my, I have a part-time job working at, um, shout out to Pod DC. Okay. Um, I work at Pod DC Hotel, which is in um, Gallery Place, Chinatown. So I work um, as a nighttime auditor on Friday and Saturday nights. So this particular weekend I was working. Mm. And I think the most amazing thing was to watch, literally, we had guests from across the country and and it was the effort was pushed by their children. Like I had one mother who just sat there. She was like from Colorado, and she was like, "Yeah, my daughter really, really wanted to come." I and loved so, it. I loved it. I, I mean, and it, it was amazing Black, to watch. Brown, Latino, to watch. Asian, it didn't matter. It didn't straight, matter. Gay. It, just, um, it was atheist, amazing uh, Catholic, to watch. Uh, she is she still cutting amazing. me off. I'm sorry. It was a well, but that but that's what I really liked about <laughs> I got, it. Is, I got carried away. He said he wanted. But that's that kids. that's what I liked about it because you know the issue. You know, after Sandy Hook, we all thought the gun issue was going to be resolved, and it wasn't. No. But so but so now you have uh, pre- predominantly white and Latino uh, youth right. leading this movement, right. and they made it inclusive, right? They which did. was the key, which was very, very clear because they had they right. very much had brought in. They wanted to talk about race disparities and all of that, and, and injustice. But how about and Black the gun Lives violence Matter in our community, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I they, mean, and they brought that in. I, they I did, and I that. thought that was great. I yeah. did. Yeah. I thought it was wonderful having the great, great granddaughter of Martin Luther King. Absolutely. That yes. was key. That was key. Yeah, on yeah. the eve of the 40th um, anniversary, which is next week, April 4th, of his assassination. His death, mm. sure. I just hope they're going to be able to maintain the movement. And let's get some folks elected and push some people out. Vote. That's right. You got to register to vote. Get out and vote. And I'm please glad they were registering people to vote. Oh, so did we, y'all, wait a minute. Well, we we while, we while we're talking about that, did y'all hear this rumor mill that Bernie Sanders is talking about running? Of course. Well, he I mean, called that, me. I talked to him. We had lunch race. the other day. <laughs> I, he came over. We, I was cooking for him. I fried some chicken. <laughs> and I invited him over. You know, and he loves my lemonade and my sweet potato pie. I bet so he does. So we were talking about a whole lot of Because he marched with Martin, so he he loved that folks. He was over eating. I had Hillary there. She was in the kitchen. I made her wash some dishes while she was there because, you know, I said, girl, if you're going to eat my food, you got to wash my dishes. He made real. We, we got one more. We got we got time for one more quick item on the news. And I'm going to skip to the funny, the funniest one is that Stormy Daniels. Did any of y'all see that interview? Because I, I saw it. Enough said. I saw it. I, 
Did you, you said enough said? Enough said. I'm going to leave it right there. That I didn't girl, see it. That story is fierce. I'm telling y'all, that girl is going to be the end of Donald Trump's presidency. I'm telling you. I bet she has a video. See, uh, see, you, you know, know a smart uh, woman. Uh, <laughs> say it. No, say the word. Would have a video. <laughs> say see, the word. See, if I was in that game, because see, I got the mindset of a hooker. I just ain't got the heart. So if the mindset, speaking from the my, in my former life, of the mindset of a hooker or an escort. Let's say escort. That sounds so much better. That's but so she's millennial. not even that. She's or, an adult film or, star. Well, well she <laughs> escorts on the side because she's, uh, uh. she's getting paid. And that's her that. rate has gone up. And no head. So, you know, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I'm sure there's a video and some cross-dressing and some spanking and oh, some S&M was going on. I can't wait for her some book. But anyway. Exchange and a whole lot. Because she's if she's a good one. You always have a video. A wig, a wig. Yeah, she's going to do a wig line. But yeah, I mean, hats off to her for having the courage to come forth and and, and be upfront about this. And anyway. she's taped everything in the deposition just in case they bump her off. Oh, if they, have just a, <laughs> if they get a deposition with him, you know he's going to lie, and then there's perjury. But that's a whole other story. Okay. well, Get let, him any kind of way you have to. Just right, get him out. That's right. This, this is just the beginning of And then that. we work on pens. So let's go to what's, what's oh. oh that's oh. another story. Oh. Oh. We got we got uh, he's got some skeletons for us I'm to pull sure. out when we need to. Oh, oh there's a couple of videos sure. so, floating. So let's let's move on to the next session and, and section and this is where we really focus on. You call it the hot seat. I, I call it hot seat. Okay, hot so seat. we're gonna call it hot seat since you're here. We'll call it something else when you're not here. That's right. <laughs> okay. we'll call it, we, I mean, what's hot? The hot seat on fire. Well, the burning. first, the first. Thing thank everybody is, for tuning in oh, Facebook yes, Live. By the thank way, thank you for tuning in. And who's on Facebook Live? The first thing I wanted to give kudos to RuPaul, who got yes. received a uh, star amazing. on the Walk of Fame. Did we have so, to do that? I look, that look how RuPaul laid. Yes, I she lived. Laid, didn't she? Didn't I, she? I would have laid out she? just the same way I would have laid didn't out. She? When I... I live. When she I tell you I live for RuPaul, you know what I thought. Was she so deserved, every, I every she, she deserved. Every, every, RuPaul everything. RuPaul everything. deserved it. RuPaul everything. deserved it. RuPaul you know, deserved know what it. I ground love about breaker. This <laughs> is is twenty almost thirty years ago. RuPaul spoke this into existence, and uh, I call her she. She said when she gets her uh, star on the Walk of Fame, she would like Joan Fonda. I mean, Jane, Jane Fonda. Jane Fonda. To oh, to to present, and that's what happened. That's Jane what Fonda happened. presented it. That's wow. right. Why Jane Fonda, though? What was the, the Because she with? always loved Barbarella. She was a uh. big fan of Barbarella. And you know, just like, you know, Jane Fonda was the it girl. And quiet with as those, with those She's high still the it girl. girl. <laughs> right. She quiet is. Because she's making them young girls did, suffer. Did, did you see the show, <laughs> the, the interview she did with uh, Megan that, Kelly? Oh, uh, Megan Lord. Kelly was asking her about her, her, her facial surgery. Wasn't that horrible? <laughs> that was so inappropriate. But she just couldn't take it because she was looking at that woman in her 70s. And Clearly, saying, I pray I look like and that. And sitting, oh, yeah, I pray yeah. I look. When like I tell that. you, Jane Fonda is everything. And she works out Speaking like a bitch. Did you years ever old? look at her show on? Uh, I haven't seen it. Grace Lily Tomlin is that the one? Grace and Frankie. I haven't seen it. It is the key cackle. Oh, what I haven't it? seen the new Get season, you. but I love it. I ain't watched the new season. What is that on, what baby? On? But when Netflix. I the, oh, Netflix, Netflix, it's on Netflix. Show you have to start from the beginning. People are watching Netflix. Absolutely amazing. Okay, I got to see that. All right, let's let's move on. So the other the other item, I hope I got an image of this is. Did anyone see the assassination? Maybe I'm, I'm watching Versace. it. I'm on episode four. Oh, no, no, can I tell five. you? I, let me just say this. This you have is got, brilliant. If you have not seen it, you have great. got to see that. It, it. They have done an amazing job. Wasn't that with amazing? This. I'm still don't in the middle. Don't turn the table down. I'm on number I five. I won't tell you. I'm on. I'm in. I'm okay, on, I just say the cast alone was amazing. Oh, I love the cast. The I Emmys are, are coming forward. It was. On that fun, thing. It was phenomenal. But what I didn't like, it was a little too violent with the death and killing. It was it the was story. Violent. Oh, but I thought it was going to be more about Versace's life. I, I didn't think they were going to go into the it is about it is, it is about the build up and about right. about the loopholes. But yeah, it, had but people they talk more had about people him. had people done what they were supposed to do, right. that, man never, that, right. meant, that man would have never that would have that man would have died. You, I don't know if you were, remember when he was here at one time because they had wanted signs all over DC because oh, I he remember, was here. I, I remember that he was here all over Dupont Circle. He was mm-hmm. spotted. Oh yeah, he was here for a while. I remember mm-hmm. it was yeah. The kids talked about that the children were up in arms. Mm-hmm. They were scared. The girls mm-hmm. was that was pre before John, uh, Grinder Jack and Adam. So the girls couldn't ding ding and swipe to the left or but call the police or nothing. Up all over the place, right? Well, that's a good thing because maybe if they would have dinged, they would have died. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, check, just, check, hey, check 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 that out. God, they 
like that. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to keep it moving. We're gonna keep it moving. So check that out when you get a chance. That is definitely worth watching. Well, um, we got we got we got love from Vegas. Hey, Aaron Kelly. Okay, How I don't you see doing? anybody. But but you. Anyway, but you guys. See. That's because he's on his Facebook page. Oh, so oh. you'll do the feed. Take the questions from. Oh, okay. Him. Yes. Yes. Okay. If I get some so, questions. So let's go down. Um, Grace Jones. Bam. Can we show? You know, Grace. Please, let's see Bam. this. I want to see this. I haven't seen it. Do you have the trailer, Jacob? Bam. You don't have the check? Okay. I'm telling you, I'm reading her book, and I'm living. I'm on page one. There's a hook to it. When you get it, let us know. See, let me know if you get you it. You see the link? You see the link underneath I'm it? I'm getting by live. Underneath Cost the Grace living. Jones Pull up to my bomb and bomb Slay documentary. To Okay. Okay, anyway, so we're going to get it because I haven't Jones seen it yet. It's going to be celebrated. It's going to be amazing. And they're doing. Um, Feeling like a woman. There's a group here looking like, like a man. <laughs> Like a no-no. There's a group here, the Circle of Friends. They're doing a, a tribute party to her. I saw in that in May. May. We're 19th. here. Yes, yes. I saw that. Oh, I so need we're tickets. Gonna go. We're gonna go. Yeah, that's yes. gonna be cute. I think we should host a screening. We, of it. we when should. It comes oh, the, we should host a LGBT screening. Yes. Of the documentary. But, you know, it's, and it's, Swerve it's, should do it. It's not sitting. You know, it's not like showing at a theater. It's showing at festivals. So it's that's at the fine. theater like one night. We should create a one-day festival. You want to? We should get it. We should get a spot and tell them to bring it here. And Swerve Magazine is gonna bring it. I, I mm, did send mm. you. Did you get my um, you sent message? Me something I sent about you that. that. So we can well, make let's that work. see if the studio wants to kick in an honorarium for us. They to, really do. To do it, to I think do we it, can have an do. LGBT night. Oh, we okay. can oh, here we go. Yes. Bam. Check it out. Oh. Okay. Okay. okay oh, so we so can't we listen to the sound. sound. But you got to see you got this. The imaging. But the we're going we gonna to look at these images. Yes. But the thing about Grace is she's an original She's beautiful. She's sexy. an icon. She's an artist. She's androgynous. She's an icon. She's everything. Uh, and, and let's fa- and you and know she and you know she's temperamental. So she she I'm sure she she argues and beats up a couple people. Now d- and did y'all did y'all y'all know that her brother is Norman is uh is yeah, the is the, bishop, the, past, she's is the bishop right, right. right. Bishop Jones yeah yeah and yeah, I tell you that that last album she did that hurricane. Album. Oh, I loved it. Oh, that was epic. That I was loved epic. It. I went to that tour. It was phenomenal. So go see Grace. You know, here's here's Grace some, in your some face. Image of it. Yes, please uh, go see it. And I and missed her when she was at Afro Punk about two years. She was ago. at Afro Punk. Yes. Yeah, she slayed the church. They said she tasted. Do you oh. remember when she came here for um, Taste, Taste of DC, of DC. DC. and, and took, her top, took off. her top off? Yes, I live. On the children, the children, on traumatized. Avenue. And I mean, like, what is that? <laughs> right, and they were gasping. And the, she said, are those melons? And she said, you don't bring the kitties to see Grace. That's what she said. <laughs> and this is why I love Grace. The, the, the other time I saw her, well, I missed that tour she and Sylvester did. I know that was awesome. Oh, I can imagine. The first time I saw her, I think I saw it in Studio 54. But she came to Tracks once, and she was like, hours Four hours late. late. <laughs> Oh, you was there? <laughs> she was there? No, she was two hours late. Right. I was two hours Came early. Out. I waited four hours for Grace Jones. Came to out four numbers. Four songs. And said, if you want to see more, come back tomorrow night. Yes. Four songs. I was evil. I was evil. But you okay. know what? The shade but is she the, was fabulous. The shade is that, 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 that y'all live. Oh, I get it. Oh, she I had live. A, let me tell you what she had we on. A live. Tibetan lamb coat that was on point with her matching hat. <laughs> they put her in a chair and spun her around like she was spinning and spinning and she was singing. Slave to the oh. Oh. Lottie was spinning her around it, while a man with a thong on was spinning her from I'm underneath sure. the chair. The queens were going crazy. Yo, we got to go see this documentary. And we should, it was amazing. We should do something. We should go, at least at least all go together. Okay, we, we'll go together. We're going to have to do it, it and then do a thing. review. That's what we got to oh, do. We'll do that. We'll we got to we'll watch. We got to go see it and then do a review. Right, I think it's right. fabulous. All the gays come or meet us or we'll just do a meetup. <laughs> If no, we we're we're LGBT actually going. We're we'll actually Jamil. We're going. We're we'll going. We're going to get. We're going to get, we're gonna we'll get it, together. and we're going to. We're we'll going to sponsor it. Right. But, so there are two things. We got to go see the documentary, and we got to support this party because it's going to be. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be fabulous. Yeah, it's, just, I just think it's May nineteenth. May nineteenth. We'll get. We'll get details. Okay, so we're going to keep moving on. We've got a musical spotlight tonight. Jacob, do you have that by any chance? I love it. I love it. No, we're on time. Oh, I'm sorry. Security. 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 <laughs> well, we'll wait till you get it. Let me know. It's Tydrick Hall's Dem Beats. I Dem Beats. I love, I love him. He's amazing. Can we I'm see so that? Talented. I have been a fan. Jamil can attest. I've been a fan of Tydrick Hall for a very, very, very long time. Yes, we, we've been working on doing something with Tydrick. You know, I don't know if you're familiar with Tydrick. He's the gentleman that did the. Um, if you do not the have stuff, if the you do not have. If you do not have the Welcome to Oz CD, oh, I don't have that. I gotta get that, baby. When and he's I on tell a world you, tour. 
when I tell you he took he took he took that album he took his life story and 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 superimposed it into the story of the uh, of oh, Wizard of Oz. Oh, really? yeah. It yeah. is, and then they right. have turn- the whole album. He has the whole a whole visual album, so it's literally the story. Baby, mm-hmm. when I tell you that entire album is he's very every, amazing. I mean, he's talented, and okay. he was he was uh, Billy Porter's replacement for uh, Kinky Boots for Kinky Boots. Only on because I couldn't. We do got it. it. Let's, let's only because let's take I a look at this do. video. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't get. I turned it down. I, I no, I turned you it down. You couldn't get the. They don't make them beats like they used to. They don't make them beats. <laughs> They don't make them beats like they used to, they don't make them beats. Hey! They don't get their life like they used to, they don't get their life. Hey! They don't take the night like they used to, they don't take the night like they used to. They don't snap that snap like they used to, they don't snap that snap. Hey! They don't click click clack like they used to, they don't click click clack. Hey! They don't push that back like they used to, they don't push that back. Hey! They don't bump that track like they used to, they don't bump that track like they used to. Dance. Till the night dies, till the night dies, live. Till the sunrise, till the sunrise, work. Get your whole life, get your whole life. We gon' pose for that spotlight. We gon' dance till the night dies. They don't make them beats like they used to. They don't make them beats. They don't make them beats like they used to. They don't make them beats. They don't get their life like they used to. They don't get their life. They don't take the night like they used to. They don't take the night like they used to. Hit the scene, check the posse. Faces are dusted to capacity. I don't know them, but they know me. Bitch, if you gagging, then that's my ID. If we in the room, it's a kiki. Ballin', they brought in the bottles for free. Taking the night, don't wanna leave. Don't kill my vibe, don't touch my weave. 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 Weave, 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 weave. Don't kill my vibe, don't touch my weave. They don't make them beats like they used to, they don't make them beats. They don't make them beats like they used to, they don't make them beats. They don't get their life like they used to, they don't get their life. They don't take their night like they used to, they don't take their night like they used to. We going in, no photo ops. They taking pictures like they with the pops. Girls in they heels, boys in they crops. They booty shaking even if they tops. We hit the room, everything stops. They spying me, eyeing me like Betty Wap. I love when the bass and the cakes drop. When you hit the floor, the DJ play the vibe. Dance till the night dies. Till the night dies. Live till the sunrise. Till the sunrise. Work. Get your whole life. Get your whole life. We gon' pose for that spotlight. We gon' dance till the night dies. They don't make them beats like they used to. They don't make them beats. They don't make them beats like they used to. They don't make them beats. They don't get their life like they used to. They don't get their life. They don't take the night like they used to. They don't take the night like they used to. They don't snap that snap like they used to. They don't snap that snap. They don't play click clack like they used to. They don't click click clack. They don't hush that back like they used to. They don't hush that back. They don't bump that track like they used to. They don't bump that track like they used to. Hey, calling all of my bad bitches. Like they used to. Ooh, Todrick Charlie, don't make them beats like they used to, girl. <laughs> All right. Oh, Let's give my. a hand for Todrick Hall. Tens, tens, tens across the board. Grand, I'm living. Baby. I like the horse, the horse heels he had. This on. is, n- this video was new. 
Oh, you haven't seen that? This you haven't new. seen that? Uh, this oh, new. I okay. ain't seen this yet. Yeah. But I'm living. That I'm young living man is so talented. Huge, I think he's so phenomenal. Baby, and he is, he's, oh, one is those, he's one of those people I was talking about. He's like the quadruple threat. Yes, that was he RuPaul. Yep. Somebody yep. asked, was that RuPaul? Yes, that, was that RuPaul is RuPaul. With the on. But my thing is, are people going to recognize him in the drag? Who? Cool. Will people recognize Baby, him? Baby, I don't know. But you. Baby, whoever beat that face. We love you too. Thank you. Whoever beat that face. Well, anyway, so enough about Tadric Hall. So we have our guest with us, Warren. Love you. I love you, Jeff. From Big hey, Boy Pride, Warren. representing Big Boy Pride. Hello, Warren. Bam! Hey, Big Warren. Boy Pride. <laughs> we'll say hi to people. Hi to everyone. I see the comments. Hey, hey Tony. Oh, hey, hey Joe. Joe. Hey, everybody. Big Boy Pride. Hey, all, everyone to the Big Boy community. That's right. Yeah, so as you know, in the March-April issue, and this was your day's influence. So that, can I say this really, really quickly? <laughs> So everybody should know that I have been battling with Jamil for a, like a year not to two, maybe three years to get this plus size not issue battling. done. I am a thick boy and understand. We're quiet as kept. We all are. I'm thick too. Don't, thick don't, men, don't even women, and in between. I, I was not. I was not against it. Jamil, we just it just needed. We didn't have the time. And let's not focus on you. We got. We got. Warren. I think he's, he's from Warren. He's so jealous. Let's of, talk about Warren. He's, Warren. he's so, giving you know. I, I'm just I giving the back backstory <laughs> because I just I am so happy and so elated and ecstatic that this issue is out. And it's been it's been well received. I, think I it's must say, I've gotten I think great it's amazing. feedback. If you haven't seen it, make sure you see it. And one of the features is uh, in in this issue, we talked about Big Boy Pride, which was really sort of the impetus of us wanting to do this. So, Warren, tell us about Big Boy Pride. Yes. So, Big Boy Pride is a four day event that takes place at um, the Parliament House yes. in Orlando, Florida. Mm -hmm. The infamous or infamous. famous. <laughs> clothing optional. Why is it <laughs> infamous? House. Tell me about. Oh, I've never heard of clothing some optional. Of the, some of the, uh, the uh, known <laughs> drag queens have come out, come out of that place, and uh, a that, lot of is other it activities. Just drag queen? Oh no 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 no! <laughs> if the walls so could the talk. Parliament House has a show bar, and it also has a hotel that's connected, more like oh. a motel. Oh. A Tell place where more. you can a place where you can rest. Clothing up optional for I, later on. Did you not hear clothing optional? <laughs> Maybe it is. It is. What else goes on there? Fun, loving, Pool hugs. But let's, but let's, but we, let's not talk about part of it. Let's talk right. about Big Boy, Big Boy Pride. Pride. So when yeah. was so, it started? So. How was it started? And ooh, you really asking me a lot of questions, Jamil. Well, but no, no, no. Anyway, so Big Boy Pride was started in, in uh, 2011 when it was called Spring Fling. I was a first participant of Spring Fling. Wow. Yes, you can clap because yes. this has been a long I road. Think it's wonderful. And but you know, I think. Um, and so it kind of um, it, it 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 grew to be Big Boy Pride, I believe, the year after that. And so this is now the eighth year, I believe, yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if um, I'm not mistaken. So it's the eighth year, eighth year, um, and we're <laughs> celebrating uh, men of size. Uh, I love it. Men who it. appreciate men of size. How about that? Uh, and. Yeah, four days long. So, so what happens on the four days? I know I, I've seen a choir, I've seen a fashion show, I've seen a body contest, I've seen a pool party. What happens? So yeah. much. So, in addition to what you miss, uh, mentioned, so we have a couple of parties, nighttime and day parties. A lot of pool parties, a lot of pool activities. We do a uh, fashion show. We also do two days of seminars. So we're not only nourishing oh, seminars. We're not only nourishing, you know, your uh, taste buzz with. Um, Lushes, big boys, and snacks, we and, snacks you, and we meals. Giving, we're giving you a full entree. <laughs> but we're giving you I one. We're giving you seminars as well to, uh, you know, Feed reach the mind right. and the soul. Um, we have uh, this year. We have Martha Wash. Incredible. Ooh, incredible. Martha Wash. Oh, we love so to see we Martha have uh, acts. Drag acts. We have a, a mini ball with some categories oh, that feature big boys. Okay. So things like okay. uh, face and big boy and sex siren. Come on, sex so, so. Okay. And about how many people go? Because it looks like it's like huge. So I believe the highest, uh, the attendance has been about 900 oh, I love throughout oh, the weekend. 900 so, so big like men. Thursday to All a Monday, but My usually kind of it's about, usually now I think it's starting to uh, low-key turn from Wednesday to Monday mm -hmm. because it's it's grown that big and people don't want to leave after four days. And do people come, I would assume people come from all over the country. All over the country. Yeah. I think the that's, Virgin I think Islands, wonderful. California, Alaska, all over. Okay. To kind of, 
you know, enjoy four days in sun Orlando I think with that's the big so boys. Wonderful. And this was started by Jay and Tony. Yes, right. right? So Jay and Hats Tony off started to the, it. to the visionaries, Hats Jay and off. Tony. Yeah, yes. who knows? Yes. Yes. Is I Jacob over amazing. there? Is he still over there? Did, did we find? Can we find that link by any chance? Let's show that video. It's a trailer of the event. Yeah. Let's see if we can show that first. We'll come down and, come on, and, Jay. and we can make that happen. Let's do that for 2019. Yeah. Okay, we'll make that happen. But, but so I want to know: are, are there any t any more available tickets left? Any passes? There are tickets left uh, right now. So official registration is over, but we do have day passes that are selling still. Okay, so I think it's amazing. You can reach that at www.bigboypride.com. All right, did y'all get that? www.bigboypride.com. www. Bigboypride.com. <laughs> now, can anyone attend? Because you know, I mean, I mean, I, I I'm a fan of a juicy of a juicy man. I like that. So I don't want to go and just be That's gawking. That's because you're borderline. I don't want right to be. Go I am. I don't no. want to be just sitting there gawking and they looking at me like, oh, there's that little thin little thing. No. <laughs> thirsting, everyone, thirsting for us. Everyone is appreciated. Everyone is welcome. Men, women, big, small, and a tall, lot of people are short, us up on everything. Facebook uh, Live, so. uh, Kenya said it, it's for women who come who like men who like women uh -huh. who like men who like big women and it's a it's well, a combination of everything so everybody comes to all the people who are giving us wonderful love on Facebook absolutely Live. and we kenya is that. a staple to our uh, okay. big boy pride movement hey kenya so. now, awesome now, now, now let's talk about the movement because and i had this conversation with jay and and that's we talked about a little bit in the magazine about there's a, there's a movement that has that has you know been Evolved yes. from from this. I mean, there's big boy targeted events around the country, right. yeah. and one of the things that came out of it is is th that our folks were not receptive to people of size, and that's why that's folks true. decided to start their own. What, what are your thoughts on that? So, um, being a big boy of size, oh, uh, being a, a, a man of size, and being a, a same gender loving man, you know, coming up in the ranks of my young tender. Thick when, gay hood. When you were young and you know, supple. Yeah. You know, <laughs> we didn't have these type of mediums like Big Boy Pride or other uh, events that are kind of popping up all around the nation, which is uh, great because it's beginning to show the the worth 
and really uh, hit on people celebrating who they are yes. as a person and their That's size. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's 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 good. I think it's good that the gay community is starting to pick up and just say, you know what? It's okay to be thick. It's okay to be a larger person and still celebrate yourself, celebrate your body, ce- celebrate your entire being and not have that uh, shame or stigma of being big and no mm-hmm. one's going to want me or want you in the gay community because it's so historically kind of set on small, I'm going to pick on you, Jamil, muscle-bound men. Well, I, I will <laughs> say that. With the, our community tends to be very shallow. I know in the 80s, I came here to D.C. in the 80s, and when I got here, you had to be thin, right? Then HIV hit, and then you had to be fit. That was the thing. Everyone, No one wanted to be thin anymore. They wanted to be fit because if you were too thin, people thought you were sick. And our community seems to be very shallow about, you know, the the aesthetic, you know, having the right size, the right job, you know, a whole lot of things. But one of those issues is having the right physique. Uh, What are your thoughts about that? I think that sometimes we 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 tend to go with what, what we see, the media, the mass media and images that we see in mass media. So a lot of what we see, we emulate. Mm-hmm. And when you see folks who don't look like you, as someone who was an Ashley Stewart and a Lane Bryant spokesmodel, <laughs> I, 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 I really celebrate all of me. You know, so I celebrate that. And to all the people like Amber and Eric and all of those on Facebook and Rondell, thank you. We appreciate the thickness and the beauty. But what I love about when we start affirming spaces, create affirming spaces that create a, a safe space and right. an environment that celebrates being thick. All the times that I've been to all of the big boy uh, mixers, mm-hmm, I mm-hmm. felt like Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like Beyonce. I loved it. I well, loved you, it. I, I felt, and I can actually fan. say I was the thinnest bitch in the room. <laughs> and I loved it. And well, you know, I it's interesting. It. Um, Eric Shields just posted. Um, <laughs> he said, Big Boy Pride is one of the most amazing and inclusive, loving, positive functions I have ever attended. Wow, that's amazing! That's amazing. Amazing. You know, and I, and I, there was a gentleman. I'm not gonna name name throw a name out, but he used to throw events, and one of the stipulations was you had to be height weight proportional. You had to be masculine. I, I, yeah, and, and I thought really that sad. was so shallow. I mean, we tried to get us to buy into it, and I, I thought, why are you doing this? It, it's more devi- it's more div- div- divisive than it is inclusive. Um, I think being a, a being I've always been a thick boy. Um, and that thick. You were a skinny one. Yeah, I was. You were. You had got all slim. Oh, baby, I did. At age. Well, at what age? Were you yeah. so a, couple, about, a couple years ago, you were slim. You all sucked in on your photos, though. Uh, but that's a, you were <laughs> sucked in, <laughs> yeah. and pulled. But, but now you're serving because you're also, thick but and Also, fabulous. too, let's talk about the reality of that is that a part of me wanting to be thin is because our community said that I wasn't, I wasn't right, enough right, right, being right, big. Right. And so now that I'm in a place where I can appreciate myself, whether or not you like me or not, I love this medium and the fact that we are now celebrating thick men because what it does is it now tells thick men you are enough and love yourself Mm -hmm. regardless. And there's a whole community of people that support you and love upon you even if the shallow queens don't. Well, they say, you know, like they say, they say black women of size don't have that issue. Because they don't. They accept it. Well, no, no. They I'm embrace not say it. They, they don't. Live it. They don't have it at that. At I'm that not going to say that they degree. don't. It's just that in our community, we are we are visual people, and like you said, racing about with there. There's a standard that we set based off of other things that are happening around us, mm-hmm. and instead of loving people for who they are, we shun people that are not like us. Which is interesting because we are a minority community anyway. Right. So but here but here we're an intersectional community. But here is right. the topic. Right. When you walk in your light and your confidence, I mm-hmm. walk into a room that most of the time, one, I'm the thickest bitch there. I'm the oldest bitches there. I'm the feminist bitches You're there. You're the bitchiest bitch there. And right? I'm going, I, I, and I'm going to walk in confidence, and I'm going to walk in my light, and I'm not going to be intimidated by someone who's 25 and size uh, seven. I'm not. I refuse to. Right so thing. I can walk in my life. Right thing. Right thing. Hold on. Right thing. It took. It take. It didn't take you a long time to be there because you've been there. You've been there since. Yeah, so well, Racine, Racine, since Banner could feel a unique, unique individual, but that's a whole other story. But so, I, I'm just saying it, it takes it takes time. So to you have there. to build right. yourself so, up, and you so have to find yourself. Like this, 
events like this support the affirmation of self and love and self-love and, and getting to the point to say that I'm enough whether or not you like it or not. So, so go ahead. So, I, but so I, I, I see there's other movements. I know there's a, I can't, what is it, Heavy Hitters is another group. Yes, Heavy Hitters. groups that have just popped Heatism, up all over the country. Yeah. Uh, um, some other groups that are like in Dallas, Texas, it's, it's movements are just moving okay. to be able to bring this type of energy mm -hmm. into those communities that don't, that probably can't make it to Big Boy Pride once a year um, or just don't have that, that, um, that positive inclusiveness in their community. So it's, it's a movement that is timely. I wish it was around when I was in high school, you know, mm -hmm. when I was, you know, suffering with self-esteem issues. It wasn't until college that I just started walking into my light and feeling gotcha. okay with my size. And I still, you know, you know, we all struggle sometimes yeah. with our weight and but, stuff. But, sure, but sure, we all do. Being right. in these moments and these mediums and connected to these groups because they're not just a weekend in Orlando. Mm -hmm. You know, specifically for like us who are on staff, we're planning and working all uh, all year round. But the other events that we're having in other cities doing pride events to kind of show that there is a big boy presence that appreciates their size and wants to be included into the mainstream kind of. Now, now I, I would imagine that. The other pride, official prides, have been receptive. I don't know. We're, we're going to bring Earl and some other folks on about that uh, because I would imagine that they have space within their activities that are inclusive of the, the big boy community. If not, then they need to. No, I think I, so, at least for the past couple of years since I've been attending pride, I've seen um, not only BBP, but also other groups bringing big boy events to at least DC Pride, right. and the reception has been well. It's been yeah. well received. Um, uh, BBP threw a party at the Living Room DC last year, and it was outstanding. The yeah. the amount of uh, people that showed up to support. So. I think I, you know I applaud so what you guys are doing. I think it's so wonderful because once again, it is so needed. But what I love about it is the experience leading up to it because it's an ongoing experience that people hold. Like friends of mine who are in Atlanta come up for some of the events here wow. that promote the they don't upcoming... Have big, they don't have big boys no, in Atlanta? No, they just do meet and greets. Throughout <laughs> yeah, they do. They do, they do. They do yeah. in Atlanta so too. So they yeah. follow each other. It's like a group that will follow from Atlanta, will go to North Carolina, the North Carolina guys go to okay. Virginia, and then they come to D.C., and then they go from Philly, and then they go to New York. Right. And that's... So you, you hit on a good point that's very unique because what I noticed attending BBP in the early stages, you would go for four days and feel so uh, warm and welcomed and appreciated, <laughs> and then you would go back to your own community right. and just be like, okay, so how do I keep riding this wave until the next year? So, so is there like a Facebook group that people can engage with Big Boy Pride and in the community and find out what's going on. Yes, so uh, Big Boy Pride is a Facebook group okay. and also a Facebook page of Big Boy Pride. You can follow Big Boy Pride also on Instagram and Twitter under Big Boy Pride. Um, there are y'all got sponsors for the event. Now that's a question we gotta you talk to, to Jay. The, We're gonna uh, talk to Jay because Jay, you should have some major sponsors for Jay that. King is on here. Hey, Jay. I think it Jay. Should be, you know, we are, you so, know what? No I'm, shade, no read. You know who needs to be sponsoring because we know. Let's be clear. The human rights campaign. Them too, but let's I'm be calling clear. Them out on Destination the, XL. No, but I'm just saying. Easy. No, let's be clear. Big people eat. So, by Popeyes, KFC, uh, country, uh, Carolina Kitchen, all of these places where we go and give them major money, money. Well, needs I'm, to be really throwing some dollars. I will them. say McDonald's, the, the pictures Wendy's. of the event, the food was featured. Right. <laughs> yes, so we do feed the you. cuisine was worth looks worth. Oh yeah, I go there and eat. I stuff my pocketbook and leave. You get your leave with fried and chicken and, your, and, your and a date. <laughs> and the funny part I, I thought was the tug of war, the tug of war contest. Oh, Ooh, I know that is hilarious. Traumatic experience. I, I don't want to talk about. I want to see that. I want to see that. I think that the the, uh, <laughs> the relay races. Is oh hilarious. my god, the sandbag yeah, races. Yeah, the beach. So the beach game. Oh, they have fun. High. Yeah, it's yeah. it's a really good. Yo, we need to go. We need to make our way down there to that. You okay, should, we're coming. We're claiming. Should. We're speaking it in 2019. Um, we're gonna yeah, go we're going to do it. Swerve is going to do a workshop next year. Ooh, Jay King, you hear that? And Swerve, just stuff. We anyway. are. We all Wait, I mean, we're going to sponsor a one-day workshop each day there. 
all of us are going to lead. We'll ourselves. talk, Jay. We're going to talk. We're going to talk. But this is we not a know. this is not a, 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 a just a one time deal with us with the coverage of that community either. Uh, so we'd like to make sure that it's going to be inclusive throughout. Is that so, a commitment? Yes, it is a commitment. And I hope you saw the Y'all issue. Y'all just said okay. Y'all saw that because one that? of the key issues in it, you know, we do a, we do a body of art section where it's like our pinup. It's like yes. our jet, our mm-hmm. jet pinup, and we featured a plus plus size male and female model. Yes, we did. Yes, you did. And they looked yes, great. Yes, we did. They were. They were. Because right. Jamil, right. Jamil, no, no, Jamil kept sending. Because Jamil kept sending me uh, body boys. I said that ain't thick. <laughs> Go back. I, you know, and it's <laughs> funny, like, what about this? That ain't thick. Because our photographer that, that we right. had, he said the big boys didn't want to shoot with him unless he paid their major money. Oh. That's right. what was interesting. The bodybuilders do well, it for free. Oh, the right. other ones, the big boys wanted right. some well, I don't so, so shout out. I, shout, I do want to shout bar. out Buddha. Buddha from Atlanta. Oh, I hey, want to tell you thank you. Because yes. Buddha is is our, um, our body of our art, body of art right. for um, the big boy. Well, the plus size issue. Now, is there anything else you want to tell us about Big Boy Pride? I mean, it's, tickets are still available, right? Day, day passes. passes are still available. You can go to uh, the website bigboypride.com uh, to look up those and get the pricing and everything. Uh, but if you're if you're attending or if you're planning on attending, just reach out to myself or some of the organizers or uh, other individuals who might be staff. We're very friendly. When it's a, when I talk about inclusivity, it's not just during the uh, event. Okay. People walk up to me all the time. Oh, you go to Big Boy Pride? Are you that? Talk to me, folks. Well, talk you know, we me. might yeah. be available because we had something scheduled that we're not going to do that weekend. So we might be available. Mean, I don't know. It's not too late. We'll April see. 12th. We'll we may be able to squeeze down there. To we'll the see. 16th. We'll see. Yeah, I have a, I, I have a prior engagement. <laughs> of I'm course sorry. you do. I, I can't you can it. come Friday. You're singing Saturday. anyway. I'm, si- I'm singing, yeah. So. <laughs> All right. Well, before we sign off, I do want yes. to say this. I know that you all mentioned it. I wasn't here last week. Um, I do want to, um, if you in, if you are in Washington D.C. and you are artists in the artist community, um, on April seventh, um, they will be having the memorial service for Peggy Cooper Kaferts. Oh, that's right. That's if right. in uh, for those who don't know who Peggy Cooper Kaferts is, she is one of the two founders um, that founded Duke Ellington School of the Arts. Duke Ellington School of the Arts is the premier arts um, high school here in Washington, D.C. And one of the premier around the country. Yes, we actually got ranked number two um, among arts high schools in the country, right under fame out of New York. Give the name of some of the people that have come. Oh, yeah. So so some of the alums to come, Denise Graves, Tony Terry. um, Silver Logan Sharp. Silver Logan Sharp. Um, Dave Chappelle, Tamir Wiley, Tamir Wiley, yes. Right. Um, oh my God, we have Yard oh, Nawaz, Yard Nawaz, Yard Nawaz, class of '97, <laughs> Samaya Ali, Broadway star. I mean, there's so many absolutely amazing people, and to me. Um, I know when we lost Taraji, Mike Malone. Didn't Taraji go no, there? Taraji did not. Oh, I thought you Thanks. Went there. Taraji went to Baloo. Oh, okay. But we love her. Also, Taraji went to Howard. But let me ask this. Yeah, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. What? Howard University. Oh, oh the scandal. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We got two minutes. We got two we minutes. We got two minutes. Hold on. Someone asked about Financial volunteers aid. on Facebook. Volunteers so, like, they what? want to volunteer for oh, Big Boy Pride. Oh, for Big they Boy should Pride? contact you. Who they contact? Yeah, they can go contact. To the website, they can right? go to the website. You can contact me, Jay, Tony, anyone of that can funnel you to the right process for volunteers. All right. So, Jamil, real quick on Howard University, alarm. there was a a scandal. Right, there's a scandal of some misappropriated financial um, mm-hmm. aid. I think financial a aid dollars. funds about a million dollars. And thank you for sending that to me. Uh-huh. I, yes, I saw a little bit of it on the news. I read the entire article. I what, did too. What's, <laughs> what's, <laughs> what's interesting to me is that a student employee was, it was the, the one who outed closed it. it. Yes, the president and crew knew about it. And had not and slept planned on, on right. telling. Right. They That's were, the, that, the issue is, how come you took yeah. so long to tell people? And right. they got the the student employee, called it out, and then he convinced people that worked on staff to give screenshots of some, some of the stuff. Uh-huh. There were people that were going to Howard University that were getting refund checks for their classes they were taking. But this, still, this was the staff, though. Yeah, staff. Right. And still getting getting refund checks. And the, the grants. And the grant. To amounts of like thirty two thousand, sixty eight thousand dollars for one right. year. And the president and the, the president's was comment was that it that he claimed that it was not federal money. And, and you know, so for, that, that's for time's sake, the sad thing right. about right. that. Hey, anyway. Shaquita, we see you watching. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna need to sign off in a minute. We'll, we'll talk. We'll table that for well, next we got, week. We got a, we got a minute. Yeah. we got a minute, Jacob. 
Yeah. So anyway, so Howard University, my alum, you know, that is the last thing that we need. Yeah. Uh, and and I encourage President Fredericks, who's who I've met on several occasions, to be up front. You cannot hide those sorts of things. We we have already a, we're already challenged. You know, we're a line item in the budget, and I'm sure Trump wants to cut that budget. Uh, we get about 250 million one year. I will tell you, Obama cut it by 40 million. Paul Ryan added the 40 million back. Okay. No, people don't know well, that. If you're in Washington <laughs> D.C. Obama. and you're looking for a college, UDC is um, oh, hey, accepting cheers. applications. But anyway, anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna go. We're gonna say good night. We want to thank Warren. Good night, thank everybody. Thank, thank you for Pride community, community and Jay and thank Tony. You. Thank, thank, you. Thank, thank you. Good luck, guys. Racine, thank our day. You. See you next week. I think uh, Dr. Hickson from Us Helping Us is going to be our guest for next week. Yes. So, Come through and get you some. Follow us Happy on YouTube. Easter, everyone. Follow us on YouTube. All right. Good night. Good night. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. DC's number one recording studio. Oh.